Welcome back Unicorn members and thank you for watching. In today's video, we are going to go over the features of the view software for the IXO Launch Monitor. Today, you'll learn how to use the different functions and features in order to optimize your experience with the IXO. Before we begin, please make sure you have installed, updated, activated, and calibrated your IXO Launch Monitor. So let's jump right into it. Before we open up the view software, we have to check a few things. So go ahead and right click the view icon on your desktop and you're gonna select open file location on this window and the view folder will appear. Inside the view folder, we need to locate the configuration application. So it would be this one here. Go ahead and double click it and the configuration icon will appear or the window. Here, this is where we need to set our resolution so for this example, we have 1920 by 1080, which is standard high def, set. You can tell view to run in full screen, if this is checked, or windowed mode, if this is checked. And we also have the select monitor selector here. So you can tell view to open up to a specific monitor. In order for this to work, you gotta have extended displays set on your display settings. All right, with that said, let's uh, open up the view software. Okay, once you double click, this is the initial loading screen here. This is the checking for updates screen here. So if it bypasses the checking for updates, just how it did there, that means you are on the latest version. And this will bring you to the select user menu here. In order for you to proceed further, you do need to add a user. So there's an add user with the plus symbol on the top right here. Go ahead and click that. And the user creation window will appear. So you need to fill out your name, your email, select your hand, gender, distance, and speed. Okay. Once you've created your user, go ahead and click the save button on the bottom right here. And that user will appear in this window. You could have as many users as you would like here. You also have the option to edit or delete any user. So for example, uh, if you're a coach or a club fitter, you want to create a user for each of your students. This will help organize all the data and shot data for that specific person. And if you select it, you can edit or delete that user as well. All right, we will jump into the pre-made user here. So once you highlight it, you'll see a red border, then click start on the bottom right. All right, uh, the session screen will appear. In this screen, you can set your session parameters. You can name your sessions by date, club model, or be as specific as you would like. Changing the color will help with discovering dispersion patterns and back mapping later on. So let's go ahead and create a session. You choose the appropriate club here. So let's say seven iron. And you want to make sure each session has a different color. And click Add. Once you click Add, you'll see the session appear on the left side here. This is Session Storage Place. You'll see all your sessions being stored on the left side. So within the session, you could identify each individual shot if you click over to Shot. So make sure, so for this example, the five iron session, click Shot. You'll see that in this session, we had five shots taken and saved. So that's what those two buttons do. If you go all the way over to the top right is our ready signal. So anytime you place a ball down on your hitting mat, this ready signal will light up in red and it will also give you a ringtone, which indicates you could go ahead and swing and hit the ball. <clears throat> to the right of that is our exit button. If you wish to leave the program, you're going to click that. And now we'll jump into all the tools that View has to offer. So if you look here on the left side, you'll see a gray vertical bar. All your tools are here. As you can see, this is the front view here. It's front is selected. This is the driving range for ball flight. Within this, you have a couple features here. If you start on the top right, if you click all, it'll display all your ball flights. So those last five shots from the five iron session will be displayed all at once. Again, if you have multiple sessions, if you click here, you can isolate it by session. Or if you select the last one, it'll show you the, the most recent shot. And 
And right below that is our edit data function. So if you click this button, you could have the view software display additional data points on the front view. So you'll need to select it and make sure it's highlighted in red. Once you click save, you'll see those additional data points appear on the bottom right of the driving range. So these are data points that aren't shown on this horizontal panel here. If you wish to remove it, unselect it, make sure they're grayed out. All right, so the next icon down is the side top button here. Once you select this, you'll see a top view of all your shots and a side view here. So within this function, if you click over to shot, you can see which shot is what by selecting the individual shot in your shot session here. And you'll see the tracer come out. You do this for each shot so you know which shot was what. Next is our grouping icon or group icon. Here it'll give you a top view with the dispersion pattern. So you see here from those five shots from the five iron session, we have a dispersion pattern where the ball is landing right around the 200 yard marker. You could uh, make the, you could change the geometry of this to oval or circular with those two buttons right above it. As you can see, it's the color is orange which indicates that the five iron session is selected. So this is color coordinated. So this is why it's important to make sure each, each session has a different color. <clears throat> Next icon down is a club optics icon, which is our user favorite. So this will validate each shot with the replay video on the bottom right window. So there's a play button to play the video all the way through for that shot. You can rewind it frame by frame with this button here. And fast forward frame by frame with this button here. You'll also see a fourth icon to the right with a square with an arrow. If you click that, you can maximize the window here for a bigger viewing mode. Right above this is our illustration of impact and lie angle. So you'll see where the, uh, where the impact was for that last shot. If you click over to photo, it'll take a snapshot right at impact. So you can see if you're hitting it square, if you're hitting it on the toe or the heel. So this is a great tool to use to adjust your swing and make those changes to improve your game. Next icon down is our swing club path icon here for just for our swing optics and the webcams. So we'll go over this in a future video. So look out for that. An icon below that is our shot icon. So this will break down each session individually, each shot. As you can see there. And you also have the ability to delete certain shots if you don't want it in that session. So you need there's check boxes next to each shot. You could select it. And there's a delete button here or you could hide it. So you have those options there. Next tool is our sessions tool here. Once you click that, it'll give you an average of your sessions here. So it'll average out for this five iron session, those five shots, and that'll give you the average here. Below the sessions tool is the numbers tool. Here we'll it'll give you additional data points that doesn't show in this front view. This part is a click and drag feature. So you could click and drag each tile in the order in which you would like to see them in. The next icon below the numbers tool is our new update that we just came out with. This is a multi view or sub view icon here. If you click on this button, a second window will appear. So the function of this is to have multiple tools up on the same screen or on a separate monitor so you don't have to walk over to your computer and your mouse after each shot. 
So there's four different tools here. So the most common one we'll see is you want this in the same window as your driving range view. You could also scale each corner to change it to the size that you would like. And you would just leave this up to whatever location you'd like. So when you go ahead and hit a shot, this will show up on the same screen. You also have the option to click and drag this to a second monitor. All right, the next icon below that is our myunicore.com sign in and sign up page here. And to the left of that is our Power U report generator. So you are able to export all your data in this function here. The next icon is our informations icon, which is the A to Z here. Once you click on that, it'll give you an illustration of what each data point is. So you go ahead and click through that to get an illustration of each data point. Lastly is the settings icon, the very last one here. You don't need to do anything in this mode here unless you have Pro T Play. So this is where you would copy and paste your license key. Pro T Play is a web browser game, so they will give you the license to paste in here. Please do not touch this data folder path as this could cause issues. We're just going to default it to what it is. One last thing to note is that if you're above sea level, please reach out to our customer success team to help you adjust this settings. So you'd email support at unicor.com. Thank you for watching this video. We hope you can improve your game with all the wonderful tools this video has to offer. Thank you.